What's up guys, it's Becca Switzer with Roof Sales Mastery and author of Diamonds in the Sky. Still just trotting along outside here on this gorgeous January day in Colorado, enjoying some scenery, the mountains. We got my dog back there. There's another dog running around here, my neighbor's dog. I don't really know where, where he went. We'll find him though, I bet. He's probably killing something. Anyways, I am huffing and puffing up the hill. So if I get out of breath, just deal with it, sorry. Uh, but today, I wanted to talk to you guys about perceived problems and actual problems. So I just started reading a, a book called The Road Less Stupid by Keith Cunningham. And the first cha couple of chapters uh, reminded me a lot of conversations that I have with my roofing contractors all the time. And when you guys have a problem, for example, we're not, we don't have enough deals. We don't have enough sales. We don't have enough customers. We don't have enough jobs, whatever. A lot of the times you guys are misdiagnosing the source of the problem, the actual problem. So you're trying to treat the symptom. So for example, a lot of you guys think we need more leads. We need to get more leads. We don't have enough leads. So the problem is, or the symptom is we don't have enough jobs. So you guys pour a shitload of money on trying to get more leads. You spend tons of money on advertising, TV commercials, billboards, signs, um, home advisor, Angie's list, and you just try to get more leads in. When really, the actual problem is probably not that you don't have enough leads. It's that you're not closing enough leads. Okay, look at how many leads you're actually getting. If you're only closing 20%, of the leads you're getting, then yeah, you have 100 leads. It's not that you need to get 2,000 leads to get that 20% to get you a higher number. That's one way to do it. But that's so much work, so much more money. And it's not, it's not fixing this, the, the core problem, the actual problem. So for example, perceived problem, not enough leads. Actual problem, not closing enough leads. So your sales guys, they need better door knocking approaches they need to know how to handle objections better. So really, the problem is your sales training sucks. It's not good enough, okay? So instead of throwing money at more leads and saying, well, we'll still operate at closing at 20%, but if we get more jobs, that 20% will add up to more. No, don't do it that way, that's dumb. Okay, here's another example. Um, I, I can't find the right salesman, okay? Can't find the right guys, nobody wants to do sales. My office is a revolving door. Just can't, can't, I don't have enough salespeople. Well, that might be what you think the problem is. Oh, there's just not enough people out there that are willing to do sales anymore, door to door, or they're lazy or whatever. But look around you. The storm restoration industry, the pest control industry, the lawn care industry, AT&T, fiber optic internet is all door to door salespeople doing millions, billions of dollars in our country right now. There are roofing companies that are doing $30 million a year because they've got door knockers. So, so, so where are these people coming from? So is the actual problem that you don't have enough, like the right people? No. The perceived problem is you don't have the right people. You can't find the right candidates for the sales job. The actual problem is you're not developing people properly. Their training sucks. So you're getting people in, but they're quitting really fast, or they're giving up, or they're just not selling very much because they don't know what the hell they're doing. You're doing what every other Tom, Dick, and Harry roofing company is doing. And sorry, I'm puffy and puffy. I'm literally like climbing a hill right now. You're doing what every other company is doing, and you're bringing them on and saying, here, listen to Jesse door knock for a couple weeks. And then we're gonna sit down in the office and I'm gonna show you how to measure a roof and estimate a roof and we're gonna teach you how a roof goes on. And then you're gonna go out and you'll figure out the selling part. It's a numbers game. No, that's not how companies who are doing millions of dollars in sales work, okay? That's why like, for example, I talked to a guy yesterday. I think he said he had four full-time salesmen plus himself and his partner who also sell a little bit. Last year, so six people total. They did $7.8 million last year in Nebraska. I talked to a lot of you guys who have the same amount of people and did 2 million or less sometimes. 
Is it because you just don't have the right people? No, same amount of people, sales train needs, needs improvement. So do you see where a lot of the times you guys are, you're misdiagnosing the problem, the sickness in your business, and you're just throwing money at the pills, the medicine for it. You're treating the symptoms, but you're not treating the core root. Like diabetes, sure. If you have diabetes, you could say, well, I need to have the right medication. So you throw money and you get, you get all these pills and you're taking prescription meds to try to balance out your blood sugar. But the real problem is not that you have diabetes. The real problem, diabetes is the symptom. The real problem is your diet is shit. You're eating too much garbage, you're eating too much sugar. Clean up your diet, you don't need the prescription pills and the diabetes does not exist. Guys, if you need help diagnosing problems in your business, this is what I do. And I have created programs to help you with the source of your problems, not the symptoms, okay? To help you make sure that you're recruiting people and training them well and properly and getting the results that you want. So check out my programs at www.roofsalesmastery.com, of course, or just keep fighting the trial and error thing. It's costly, it's annoying. You don't have to do it that way, but God bless you if you want to. Seek help, you guys, from people who have figured some stuff out and get your business going in the right direction without spinning your tires in the wrong direction. Because remember, it's not how much, it's not how hard you're working that makes you succeed, it's how hard you're working in the right direction, okay? So anyways, I need to catch my breath here before I pass out on this mountain and bake in the January sun. Love you guys. Check out my website, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll catch you guys next time. Bye.